Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today we have a very special video from one of our moderators. His real name is Austin, goes by Aloha Trader in MIC chat. Today he's going to talk about what is frontside and backside in trading. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. All right, let's get into it. Hey everybody, Austin here. Back for a tra not another trade recap, cat. Uh, but before I do, I want to say that I'm not licensed, I'm not registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so this is going to be a really fun kind of video for me because this is going to be like a trade recap slash uh, analysis of one of my favorite trading philosophy nuggets. Like that's what I like to call them, and this 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 is one of my more iconic nuggets because. It's uh, ironically on the first day of, of me being at MIC or the second day or definitely the first week, um, we had a runner and I was able to share this that the, the quote is, is front side shorts require front side covers and back side shorts require back side covers. And I, got, I, I, I get a lot of questions about this and I wanted to make a video to go truly in depth to explain what I'm talking about. Um, what like why I say this and what it what it means and and the assumptions uh, that are that go along with this idea so I want to go over this in two scenarios one of them is going to be my trade I'll do that second and this one is going to be a kind of like a classic version of this and uh, on ATI ATAI was today's runner and this is a classic example of um, Frontside shorts need frontside covers, and backside shorts need backside covers. And we're going to get into what does each short mean, and what does each like. There's a thesis behind each short, and there's a thesis behind each cover. And both of those theses are going to revolve around um, the underlying um, assumption that there is a front side and a backside move to each individual time frame, and one and that one one front side and one back like one stock's backside could still be the front side of a bigger time frame move right on this pull like the the idea that front side shorts require front side covers is the idea that if you're shorting the front side you got to be taking advantage of the pulls like the only reason why you're shorting up here is to get the pullback because if you think it's eventually going to go higher you wouldn't be shorting up here for the for the larger time frame short right so the only reason why you wouldn't cover right here is um, if you think it's just gonna, if this is the absolute top of the of the move and it's going to go down, and if that's your idea, you know, great kudos, like, like that's your idea. But um, like you got, um, so basically you're saying that this is the largest time frame move that the stock is going to have, and I would say that most traders are not gonna think that. Um, so if you're shorting here, like on a you know break of 220 or a lower you know a lower high reject here or something whatever your thesis is for your short you think that like this move this is the backside to this move um, where is it um, the backside cover needs to be in con uh, in conjunction the backside cover idea needs to be in conjunction with what time frame you're trying to take advantage of now if you're trying to take advantage of the daily chart you think this is the backside of the entire move the stock's going to have then like, yeah, you don't want to cover until like 120, you know, 130, 140. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.